DuvalSports.com. We're here with the back-to-back -back city champion FLA Vikings. We're here with uh, Coach Lewis Harris and number 11, Ronald Durham. Coach, just talk about the feeling of winning another championship for FLA. Feels good. More than, more than anything, I'm just proud of the kids. You know, it's, it takes a lot of concentration at 10 years old to go back to back. You just take a game at a time. You know, and these kids, I have a special bunch, so I'm blessed to be able to be a part of their lives. Coach, just talk about the preparation that went into it. Uh, you got kids that leave that, you know, uh, go off to middle school or mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, but to come back and do it a second time with, you know, a new group of kids. You know, just, just uh, talk about the preparation that you and your staff put in. Well, we start off just with the fundamentals and keeping it simple. You know, you know there, there are things in basketball that you must be able to do. You dribble and playing defense and moving your feet. And we just keep it simple and make it fun. And that's the most important part, making sure the kids have fun. Because nobody's getting paid. We're out here for, just for, for the fun of it. Coach, uh, your uh, team uh, pressured the DOT Trojans, uh, forced them into a lot of turnovers. Uh, what what was your um, your philosophy going into this game today? that uh, created so many turnovers? Well, they're 10 year olds, the 10 year old kids, so we pressure them and make them, make them be patient and make the right decision. And uh, that's what we teach. So we run a lot of full court press. Fundamentals, like I say, pretty much systematic. And then uh, we just allow them to make their own mistakes, beat themselves, because like I say, they're 10 years old. So uh, it's pressure on, pressure bust pipes, like they say. So <laughs> that's what we do, we put the pressure on. Coach, you had uh, one of your big time pressure players right here. Ronald Durham, yes, Ronald, just talk about uh, what you uh, liked about the game, game, game today. We saw you out there making a lot of shots and blocking a lot of shots. I like the day I had Coach Lou because he taught me a lot of stuff and how to play basketball and dribble and shoot. And it's just not me; it's my teammates too, like Zay and Will. We all, we all like to respect ourselves as throwing um, passing. What do you feel out there when you're making those plays? I mean, like, like just uh, you know, uh, when you made that big, big block. What were you feeling during that play? Joy. I feel like joy. I feel like 96, 97 joy. And then it was like. Oh, what you know about 96, 97? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to go back to back, so I had to do what I had to do to get my team to win. Look, look, we have a basketball historian on our hands right here, man. Watch out for him at the next level, coach. Let's uh, talk about the future. Uh, you know, do you plan on coaching basketball next year again? Yes. Uh, you know, just talk about you know the outlook for the team. Well, actually, next year we'll put back the first team. The first team to come back together with the addition of Ron and some more kids. So we we kind of be loaded next year for the 12U. That'll be our first run at 12U. This this team actually has five city championships. So we have three in the uh, YMCA division and two in the city league division. So it's winning is winning is a, is a, is a DNA, is in our DNA now. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to keep it going. More than anything, I just want to take these young men and turn them into turn them into men, productive men. You know, because you know we get we get we get a bad rap us us black us black men nowadays, and um, we're just trying to train change that, that perception. You know, and that's what it's all about: love and having fun. Staying with family, having fun with family. And we're just gonna keep it like that. Coach Ronald, great job. Forever Life Achievers, FLA Vikings, City Champions 2015-2016. Congratulations. Sure.